You worked on many jeeps then. <laughs> we do another one. Do you? We haven't seen it for a while, but you don't need the MOT anymore. No. Is it any good? It's not as good as this one. <laughs> One of the things we talked about, guys, was cleaning this uh, matte paint on a Jeep like this. And uh, I spoke earlier about, um, well, a couple of videos back about the paraffin I'd found to use it. And we said this was a, a sort of a kerosene, a refined kerosene. And this is what you get it in big 20 litre tubs like that. And I'll get some out in a minute. Um, but this is great for washing the Jeep over. It acts as a degreaser and a cleaner. Um, I mean, you can manually clean it with water and soap and whatever you want beforehand. But as a degreaser, this works pretty well as a, you know, single stage, um, step but as you can see the jeep's pretty dirty at the moment there's grime and rubbish pretty much everywhere on it because it's been it's been out and been working so we're going to paint everything over just using this paraffin then and try and get rid of these bug the fan really sprays bug mess and bugs splat everywhere inside the engine it's amazing i don't know why you know in modern cars it doesn't seem to do this but in the jeep it just seems to, f to throw bits of bug everywhere so i'm going to do the whole engine bay over with um, some paraffin and we'll see what that looks like and then we'll work on the rest of the jeep and try and get rid of some of these uh, marks and grease stains and see how it comes up looking afterwards so let's get on with that then automatic steering autopilot in a jeep So guys, we're giving it a quick run over for 15 minutes um, because I don't really want to remove all the oil and dirt off it. I'm just giving it a quick uh, quick go over just to tart it up a little bit. But as you can see, it's made a pretty good difference in a short space of time. Everything's looking a little bit shinier. A lot of the um, dirt has gone. You know, I haven't got in and everywhere with it, but it, it cleans off all the surface, easy to get to dirt and stuff like that. So it's quite good. And the hood, we got rid of those bug bits and everything, most of them anyway, just with a quick run over. So it works nicely. You can see on the fender here, it hasn't dried out yet and then on the one on the right it's starting to dry out so it does dry and leave no residue this and it removes oil 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 as well so once it's done it will be completely matte again so you're gonna have to spray it up with oil if you want to keep it um you know looking a little bit shiny but it's good stuff but remember what i said previously about using this of course it's paraffin or kerosene which is what jet engines burn so it does burn so you don't want to be running your jeep for a, a little while at least after um using this you want to make sure that everything's completely dried out before attempting to turn the ignition on or start it otherwise you could have an engine fire which is obviously something you don't want to go for but um yeah we'll work our way around the jeep and continue putting this paraffin on you can see the difference here between the side and the top of the uh, cowling there so it does clean it up nicely but it looks good when it's wet anyway when it dries out as i said it does dry it out quite a lot so it'll look quite different but at the moment it's looking pretty smart so we'll carry on with that then Guys, I've been using this saying it's not flammable. Should we do a scientific test and see what happens? Right. Ah, there you go. That's pretty good. So a lit match doesn't light it off. That's uh, that's uh, encouraging. Should we see if we keep the end going, whether it'll have enough energy to do it? Nope. Puts it out. She's a bit more cleaned up, guys. As you can see, she's still pretty wet, looking pretty, uh, pretty much like a green machine rather than a sort of bit of a washed out olive drab machine. So this stuff will slowly dry off and um, whiten out, like I said, and really dry up. So I'll give it a bit of oil afterwards. But you can see at the moment when it's wet, of course, wet always makes things look much better than they really are. But um, it does clean off a lot of the old greasy bits and the dust and stuff like that without using water and getting water everywhere. So it seems to be a pretty good way of cleaning up Jeeps, I think. There are probably better ways and other ways to do it, but I'm quite happy with um, the paraffin way, just to get rid of those oily bits and stuff like that on this um, olive drab, um, especially this matte sort of olive drab. It seems to work pretty well. But as I said, you guys, be very careful with it, okay? Because you are painting your Jeep with a flammable liquid, okay? So, you know, that doesn't sound particularly bright. So just be really careful with it. It does work, but you just got to be careful. You know, you don't want to be starting it or getting anywhere near with any uh, sparks or flames or anything like that. As I said, it's not really, really highly flammable, but it's, it's pretty flammable. So be careful, guys. So we'll leave her out here in the heat to dry for a bit then. Today we're taking the Jeep out to do a bit of testing for it. So in the UK we have this uh, MOT test which is a test you need to do for sort of fitness of vehicles but older vehicles like World War II Jeeps, and I can't remember exactly what the dating is, but older vehicles don't need to do the MOT test so I don't actually need to do one for the Jeep. But because I'm taking it to Goodwood and their requirement for if you're operating it there is for it to have an MOT, it's got to have one done. 
Um, so yeah, it's got to come here each year and do this. But one of the interesting things we get to do when we come here is use their pit, which is pretty cool. So you get to see under a Jeep, which is it'd be fantastic if I had one of these at home. It would make things so much easier. But yeah, you get this view, which is really, really cool. You can just see how dirty. Actually, this isn't even that dirty under here. But you get a view all the way back. You're on YouTube whether you like it or not. <laughs> and what are we looking for under the hood then? Fuel leaks. Fuel leaks, okay, well that's... Fuel you, pipes. Fuel, <laughs> well, you know, a, you know a Jeep leaks full stop anyway, okay. you know. Well, let's start it up then, can we? Yeah, you can do. Make sure it's not in gear. You know how to start it up. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Well, if you get in... <laughs> right, yeah. Ignition switch on. Right, yeah, make sure it's not in gear again. And then the foot starter pedal. The, it, off, your foot a further bit up. Can you see the, the button, yeah? Oh, you got down. the button starter? Yeah, 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 yeah go yeah. for it. There you go. So yeah. 20 miles an hour and come to a complete stop. Complete stop. Hard, Straight hard stop. Hard. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's go and see what we can get on here, here going soon, without crashing. Plunk. Right, there's 20. Perfect, power behind you. Oops, <laughs> <laughs> you, you failed your test for the emergency stop. Right, let's get out of the way. Yeah, we may have failed that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Maybe we want to try and do the handbrake. Right, okay, now, we've got to do this one without, so the problem with the handbrake is that because it's not on the actual brakes, it's on the prop shaft, you can wind the prop shaft up. So, we need to do this carefully. So I'm just going to do it to try and do it as minimally as possible. So what sort of speed do we want for this again, do you reckon? Uh, well, same again, really. Yeah, and then we've got... But just carefully. Right. We'll just we, don't, do... we don't need as much. Right, let's try and do it gently. Right. Yeah, it doesn't... That was me on the brake, that was, pretty much. Right, yeah. What does that need? That should be enough. Okay. Got enough space. Cheers. Got the filming then. Uh, we're doing an MOT with it, so it needs a bit of filming, you see. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a good look, I think. <laughs> That's it. Cheers. Everyone's a critic. <laughs> right, I think we've managed that somehow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, guys, so that's the MOT done then. You can see it's a little bit of a formality with the Jeep, really. It doesn't actually need one, but it's nice to have as well just to make sure that everything's safe and running well. So, that you know, if you did have a, did have a problem with the Jeep or perhaps an accident or something like that, you can point to it being uh, legally roadworthy rather than just being, you know, saying it's roadworthy, which is good news. But you can see that it looks pretty good now with some WD sprayed on it. As I said, that paraffin takes out all of the oils and you know makes it really quite um, dry once you've put covered it in paraffin and cleaned it so a spray of WD-40 goes on quite nicely and you can see in areas now it's starting to dry out itself so it'll just leave uh, a nice a nice sheen on there not like this this is still pretty wet but it'll start to dry out you can see under the hood it's drying there and it makes it look really good so yeah I'm pretty pleased with it guys she's running well at the moment we'll have that differential looked at over um, winter i mean it's still fine um but yeah it, it probably needs looking at and the head as well is starting to make a little bit of ticking from uh, the forward valves at the front here i changed 
a couple of the valves in there which were out of tolerance when I rebuilt the engine, changed a couple of tappets which were out of tolerance and uh, kept some of the adjusters, well I actually kept all the adjusters but one, but there's a bit of ticking going on there now, I mean the engine's running fine and everything but I'm not totally happy with it, um, we'll see, it could just be normal jeep noise but it's, it's slightly annoying so it's something I can look at and if it's just removing the head over winter that's not really too bad and that might, might be quite interesting for us to do, so we'll have a look at that guys but otherwise yeah feeling pretty good about it at the moment, I think she's going to be alright for Goodwood, I think she'll survive so that's all good news.